Everything seemed so simple back then. The land was new and full of promise, and people were good and only wanted to help one another. It was easy to tell right from wrong, and if you were in the right, you were sure to win. But somewhere along the lines, something changed. Black and white turned into a hundred shades of gray, and a world that was simple turned to complicated and confusing. Now when it changed, I wished for nothing more than for it to change back, for things to make sense again. But I knew time flowed like a river, and that once things change like this, there is no going back. When I left Rust Valley, I was still optimistic. I was going to visit Gemtown and then do what I could to make this country great. There was nothing but optimism in my mind because this country had nowhere to go but up. The railroad was coming west. Slaves and women were getting equal rights. The new frontier could be anything we dreamed of and with that indomitable American spirit, that meant it would be pretty amazing. At least that's what I thought then, before things changed.
Anything is possible. We're living in a paradise. At Peacemaker Enterprises, we're here to help you. Now, you tell me the people in your town are afraid of Peacemaker Enterprises, is that right? There is no reason to be afraid. Now, maybe people are afraid that they're going to lose what they have, that they're going to lose that small town charm Gemtown is so known for. Well, the first thing I want you to understand is that we're not here to control your life. We're not here to tell you what to do. We're here to work with you to make your life better. Progress is difficult. Things are going to change. But this country is about having the opportunity to make life better. To make this land the paradise it was meant to be. I know what you're thinking. People don't want to change. They're comfortable now. But tell me this. Do you want them to go without health care? Convenient food sources? A comfortable life? Do you want them to die of malaria and smallpox again? Of course you don't. There are going to be changes, sure, and maybe some adjustment time, but you have to remember that these changes are ones for the better. Are you okay? My wife died because she couldn't afford the medicine that would have saved her life. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't let the same thing happen to you or the people in your town. Don't walk away from this deal. State-of-the-art medical facilities, parks, modern superstores, this is your future. A dreamland of leisure, comfort, peace, and happiness. It's time to move on. Where's everyone going? Nothing is free. Can I get back in? There seems to have been a mistake. No mistake, sir. You have to close the park for the day. But you're welcome to come back right early tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's right. Right and early. But why are you closed? Where are we supposed to go? Back to reality, my friend. But reality is a better place because of Peacemaker Enterprises. Peacemaker? Hello, ma'am. Weirdo!
Can you believe it? That's the third time I've been laid off this year. Don't worry. Things are sure to get better soon. You gotta be kidding me. But don't you believe that people can make their lives better? This is the new frontier, isn't it? In this country, anything is possible. Just like that. I worked my whole life to save up enough money to send my kids to school, to send myself to school. 60 hours, 60 hour, 80 hour weeks. It wasn't easy work, and I never got much in return. I certainly never got anything like that for my hard work. But in this country, anything is possible. If you're already rich, that is. But don't you believe that people can make their lives better? A lot has to change, cowboy. Things have to change. I hear it being said again and again. What people don't realize is that things are changing. They're continuing to get better. There's no malaria, no typhoid. Life expectancy is through the roof. And so people complain that life is hard, that the system of industry and production is dehumanizing. But it's not the system that rewards the rich that's the problem, it's nature. Nature that doesn't care if you're good or bad. Nature that doesn't care if you live or die. One of these days, man will triumph over nature, and things will be better. Things will be completely controlled, safe. We won't have to worry. We won't have to worry about unemployment, about sickness, about drugs, about anything. We won't have to worry. Just call me Johnny Gracie. I'm just joshing you, Mr. B. What do you want, Gracie? Just wanted to give you, you your okay and put a smile on your face. What would I do without you? I don't know, Mr. P. Thanks for the OJ. Is there anything else? Just wanted to let you know I believe in you. And I believe we're going to make Gemtown a really great place. Really, really swell and happy and all that. Thanks for your support. Why, I bet even the most stubborn, old-fashioned maid or cowboy would love what you're going to make of that town. Cowboy. You know, if we could convince that cowboy that our way is the only way, it would make a really great ad campaign. It would convince people to completely accept Peacemaker. Just tell Lisa I have a job for her. So I guess it's all a lie. You look lost. I'm Lisa. I'm from Peacemaker Enterprises. I'm here to help. At Peacemaker, we want everyone to be happy and successful, and rich. You want to be rich, right? I want to be happy. What else is happiness but the money to do what you want? Follow me. Here. What's this? A TV. Possibly the best invention of the 20th century. And it's just a start to all the goodies you'll be able to buy from Peacemaker. But I don't need a TV. You don't know what you want. You're lost, confused, feel like the 21st century made a wrong turn. Am I right? Yeah. Well, did the 1800s have cell phones, cars, and drive through restaurants? Did it even have radio? People talk to each other. People love the land they lived on. These are just trade-offs for progress and a better life. It's the way the world is, cornbread, and things aren't going back. They're going to keep marching forward. So, you ready to see the world? To see how great Peacemaker Enterprises makes our lives? I remember I said to Rose that if you don't trust people, you can't get anywhere in this life. And 
If you never take chances, you'll never move ahead. I needed to know just how much things had changed. So I took a chance. I'm ready, Lisa. But fasten your seatbelt, cornbread. You're in for one hell of a ride. You're right. It really is a beautiful day. This is how life is meant to be lived. <laughs> nice to talk to you, too. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Those folks in that city will never know it. There's a lot they don't know. Name's Joe. Sig. Say, you're not from around here, are you? No, I'm not. Come on. This place is going to be scorching in an hour or two. Tell me about yourself, Joe. Would you believe me if I told you I was born in 1845? I'd be interested, to say the least. It's true. Is it? So why did you decide to leave the city? What I'm wondering is why anybody stays. Most people there live such miserable lives. Yet they stay. 
because they think it's better. But if you were to show them... People will do what they'll do. Forget them. You just gotta take care of yourself. Come on, let's do something fun. This place is beautiful. It's like this every day out here. What happened here? Peacemaker. We have to go back, Z. We have to help them see. They've made their choice. I... I can't just stay out here and pretend the rest of the world doesn't exist. I used to think like you when I was young, but I don't try to change the world anymore. I don't argue or fight unless I need to to survive. You know, you're welcome to stay out here. We can hang out together. You can tell me stories about the Old West, and I can show you how to evade the cops. You're going back, aren't you? You can't make a difference, Joe. And that city will steal your soul from you. You know, maybe you're right. I see you've come to your senses. Can't escape it, so might as well embrace it, I always say. Can't escape it, so might as well embrace it. That's the spirit. Embrace the world in all of its absurdity and gaudiness. In no time at all, you'll be one of us. I don't think so, Lisa. I'm only coming back to show people that they can live a better life. You can't stop the big machine from running, Cornbread. It's jumped the tracks, and you standing in the way isn't a smart way to stop it. We can do better.
Thanks for staying so late. I set up some tea out in the reception area. There's a problem with the plants, Johnny. The toxic waste plant is way too close to the town center. I know. Listen, it's still better than it was, and what people don't know won't hurt them. But... But they'll find out sooner or later. The people are going to be too occupied having fun to care. But why? We can't afford to wait any longer. Just trust me. It's progress, Gracie. It's a good thing, right? I'll go and have some tea. That idiot, Joe. I was fine with my job. Fine with my life. What an idiot. Like spirit change is gonna make a difference? People need to take control of this world. They need to see that it's possible, that things can be better that people don't have to destroy the world and do things they're ashamed of just to feed their family. It's time to get to work! What? I just got home. I'm tired. Joe, we need to do something to change our lives for the better. If you just don't think about it, it's not that bad. It's only when you think about it that it seems bad. That world our forefathers dreamed of still exists, Joe. Remember, you're the one who told me. The world is crazy. You can't change it, so you might as well embrace it. We still have the power to change things if we really want to. It's too big, Lisa. It's never too big, Joe. We have to do something about Johnny Peacemaker. You will believe the kind of things he's doing. Just look at this stuff I've compiled. All very interesting. What can we do? I'll tell you what. We'll do a full investigation. People have the right to a good quality of life, you know. And the jurisdiction states that toxic waste plants are not to be built with them. That's all? Fill out a petition. A full investigation will be formed. But we're talking about people's lives! All I can do for now. There is a procedure to these things. And two years later... Peacemaker Enterprises has a right to exist as well. A full investigation will be formed. I know the process can be slow. But think of all the good it does, all the ways it protects you. I'll work on that position. Do you want me to fill out the paper? It won't be taken seriously. How about we get a bite to eat? Maybe a pizza? It'll take your mind off of all of this. They're planning on groundbreaking tomorrow. And even if we started an investigation, it wouldn't move ahead. It's going to happen. Gemtown is gone. I'm really sorry. Soon, the butterflies will go away, and then, so will the birds. Just like every other place Peace Baker has come to. The people will get fat and the kids will sit inside all day watching TV. Progress.
Mr. Protest, why are you so angry at PM Enterprises? Because PM Enterprises has shown time and time again that they don't care for us, and building a toxic waste plant right next to our town hall is just the latest- So what exactly is it about PM Enterprises you don't like? What exactly are you protesting? We're protesting PM Enterprises, period! Things really didn't work out the way they were supposed to. The world isn't perfect, Joe, but maybe this is our chance. Our chance for what? Our chance to make things truly better, to be the people we were born to be. The world isn't perfect, Joe. Thanks, sweetie. I used to think in black and white that if we just did good and avoided evil, everything would turn out okay. That if we just followed our dreams, our reality would start being brighter. The world isn't so simple. Hello everyone. Hope, Hope you're, you're having, having a great, great day. day. My, My name, name is Wiley, Wiley Wormwood. Wormwood. I'm, I'm your mayor. And I have Johnny Peacemaker here to talk to you about how Peacemaker Enterprises is going to change your lives. Are you ready for that? Are you sure? Then I present Mr. Peacemaker. We're coming to Jumptown to bring 1,000 new jobs with us. Modern superstores, hospitals, transportation, infrastructure. Bit by bit, we are making our dreams reality. Bit by bit, things will continue to improve as we walk together into that bright future. You really don't understand what's about to happen why it's so important we have this protest. It doesn't matter, you're not getting through. We are getting through. I don't want to spray you, but I will. And how will that look on the news? Ever think of that? Look, you're a nice lady, but don't step any closer. Our job is to protect you. Bravo, there's a 1034 coming your way. A whole group of protesters, maybe 100, 125 strong. Get ready, get ready. You want me to round up the guards? No. That would be a PR nightmare. Let's counter their claims, really disempower them. Johnny Peacemaker, why are you putting a toxic waste plant near the new city hall? An unfortunate oversight, but one that is more than made up for with the new jobs that our stimulated economy would do. Silver City, Chocolate Valley, and Rust Valley created a huge homeless problem, putting half the town out of jobs, and it made the water poisonous to drink. Our new complex is an, is an improvement, environmentally, socially, and economically. That's a lie, Johnny Peacemaker! Guards, please stand down. We have to allow all sides to be heard. Mr. Protester, if you want to slam me, please show me facts. You're tearing down our old downtown to build an amusement park and a sewage treatment facility. I'll admit to you that my, our new plan is perfect. The environmental and social impact our company will have is great. But we believe the risks and shortcomings are outweighed by the benefits and the constant improvements we are always making. We are bringing money into your community. Where else can you get a 99 cent burger or a free flu shot? 
what it's called. Where else, where else can, can you go, go the latest, latest technology, technology and the best, best modern conveniences? So while, so while I'll admit, admit we're not perfect, we're going, we're going, to, bring going to bring you out of your simple ways and into the future. You want your old job back, don't you? No. PM is where the money is. But it's not honest. Huh. Not honest. You owe us more. I owe you? <laughs> I protect you. I give you your dreams. That's what people want. That's what they want. But they need more than a fantasy. You're the one living in a fantasy, Joe. You talk about honesty as if it's something real. As if it matters. As if being good and doing the right thing matter in this nightmare of a world. It matters to me. And that is why you are not the owner of an international empire. The world is a crappy place, cowboy. Get used to it. <laughs> He thinks the world isn't going to change. He thinks I'm a fool. If enough people take control of what they want, things will change and get better. People are sick of things the way they are. You got that right, buddy. Maybe I was naive for being so optimistic about this new frontier. I really didn't imagine things would ever get this bad. But I still believe in these people. I still believe that they're good and that they can make this country pretty darn amazing. And move into another new frontier.